Have you ever watched a weather report from a correspondent who's reporting from the thick of a storm? They hold tightly to their microphone as the rain pounds against them. They struggle to stay upright as they lean against the wind. We may pity them, but this is what they signed up for. I want to live my life closer to Thee. As followers of Jesus, what are we in for? Do we need to stand up against storms alone, holding on for dear life? Jesus let his disciples know that following him would be no cakewalk. In John chapter 16, verse 33, Jesus said to his followers, I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Why would Jesus tell his followers they will have peace and then share that they will have tribulation? Earlier, Jesus was teaching his disciples about how he would be leaving this earth, ascending into heaven. He taught them about this dichotomy. They would be sorrowful, yet their sorrow would turn to joy. They would have tribulation from the world, but Jesus has overcome the world. If Jesus has overcome the world, what's that mean for us when we experience tribulation? The words that Jesus is referring to when he said, I have said these things to you, the words that bring us peace is that the Father loves us. You are loved by God. Now, if the creator of all things loves us, what do we have to be afraid of? If Jesus has overcome this world, including death and the devil, what should we fear? You will have tribulation. You will have to stand through the storms of this life. Yet you will never face these alone. You have a Savior who's overcome every struggle, paid for every sin, and covers you with his love. May you walk today with confidence, knowing that the God of the universe is for you. Pray with me. Heavenly Father, God of hope, thank you for filling me with joy and peace. Help me to stand up to trials and tribulation with the confidence that you stand with me. Remind me daily that your love follows me everywhere I go, through good times and bad. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining us. If you're seeking services for symptoms of mental illness, please talk to your primary doctor or a health professional. If you don't have one, consider one of the resources listed here to find help. And God's peace to you.